let's get everything packed up. Here we go. Uh, oh. Going back to sleep. Don't wake me up for a week. Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. We're here with Jay, Caleb, Elijah, Ashley, and Zach. <laughs> We're gonna be uh, taking the camper up. I'm gonna set it up, the 77 C10. It's a uh, truck I got from my grandpa. I built the uh, camper myself. It has an eight foot swing out awning right over here. That swings all the way out and is a 270 degree wrap around. I built this camper in the back of it. It's loaded up with our stuff right now, but as you can see, it's benches all around. And then the floor platform down here actually slides up and goes on top to make a bed platform. And uh, we're just gonna be doing a nice little fishing day set up the camper for you guys to take a look at. Uh, you know, I'm, I wanted to remake the 77 video just because uh, it wasn't in 4K before and it wasn't as in great detail as I want. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, here's the engine on the 1977 Chevy pickup. I got the brand new Edelbrock carburetor under here that I just put on it. Rebuilt AC, uh, new alternator, new radiator down here. I've got, man, I've got everything new on this car. You could take this thing across the country right now and it would honestly be good. Let's go ahead and get up to the mountain, guys. All right, guys, so we're heading up the uh, Pooter Canyon. <laughs> Pooter, it can see you, don't worry. No, I'm looking at the other oh, one. Okay. But I figured I'd give you guys a little background about this truck. So this was my grandfather's truck he had bought in Phoenix. We put this backpack back, so yeah. nice to It's a uh, 350 Chevy, brand new crate motor has a, an upgraded 700R4 transmission, which is a four-speed overdrive. I just put a new uh, Edelbrock 1406 carburetor on at 650 CFM, so it's running phenomenal right now. And then in the intro, I had that little blurb about the transmission fluid leaked all over the place. What that actually was, it was just the uh, speedometer cable that had one of the gaskets had gone out, and it was just leaking on the ground, so it was a two-minute fix but I thought it was funny. So I've redone the entire interior except for this old bucket seat. It's an aftermarket, you know, three seating crew cab. I've seen them in Fords and Chevys. Um, I put a train horn on it, that's fun. Let's blow some nature train horn. So I got a switch right there that turns on the compressor. And then all I got to do is honk the regular horn in order to honk the train horn. But, boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> I built the, uh, the camper in the back all by myself. It was it only cost me about a hundred bucks actually. So I'm gonna include some pictures right now about what I had to do to build it just so you guys can see if you're interested in building one yourself. If you guys are, leave a comment below and I'd love to show you guys the process of making one. I have the eight foot awning, 270 degree wrap around, which is awesome to have for camping because when it rains, like maybe today it might, it doesn't get rain on us, right? I don't think it'll rain. Oh, so I was like, what are you doing? I'm looking at the cloud. Because, <laughs> you know, if it's blue sky, it's probably not going to rain. It's not blue skies. It's, it's fairly blue. It is not. The sky is blue past the clouds, bro. <laughs> so we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> so we're going to do... And can you, this is my annoying friend. This is why I like to bring Zach with me in the cars. Because he doesn't irritate me as much as Get he does. <laughs> But we're gonna do some river fishing. So up here there are, uh, this is in Colorado. It's in, uh, is this Larimer County? I think we're past Larimer County. I think we're past Larimer County, but it's in Colorado. You can see on this we're camera here, Poudre. we're up the Poudre River. No, it's Poudre River. And uh, there are brown trout, rainbow trout, brook trout. And up at the very top in reservoirs, there are lake salmon that live up there. Did you know that? Sometimes there are minnows. <laughs> <laughs> As you can probably gather at this point, I am the true fisherman of yeah. our group. He is. He, te he taught me everything I, I know about river fishing. That's right. So, just, you need a line, right? What do you mean, right? Yes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I was testing you. You are doing well, my Padawan. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, the river 
is actually kind of high right now. It's not high. It's pretty. It's, it's low actually. I don't know anything about nature. So. I know. But yeah. Except so yeah. River fishing. Nature oh. train horn honk ready. <laughs> <laughs> The guy in front of us is like, what are you doing? I know. So we go out for about, I don't know, maybe like 15, 20 miles. There's this little brook I like to take. If we're going up like way far for brown trout, I normally go up to about 10,000, 11,000 feet. I don't know if it goes up to 11,000. I know it does go up to over 10,000 feet. But that, yeah. uh, that that's where we catch all the, all that's where I caught the big boy yeah. brown trout. So I, caught, I caught a 20 inch brown, two 20 inch brown trout last weekend when I was up here. I don't understand. How can you go tubing on that? That just looks like it would hurt. I know. People go tubing on this all the time. I know, but that just, I don't, that looks like it would hurt. It's actually really low right now. So last yeah, weekend, it was a lot higher. And there were a lot of, you know, rafters and stuff. Man, you should see the rapids they take up the here. The reason it's, the water is so low is because people keep drinking directly out of the river. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So, oh. this is that one friend who laughs at his own jokes only because no one else laughs at them for him. It's true. <laughs> it's very sad. It's a sad, lonely life I live. Oh. I'm trying to think about what else I've done in this truck. I've done, I've done radiator. I've done, I fixed the AC. Oh yeah, AC blows ice cold. Super uncommon in these trucks. What are you doing? I'm feeling the AC. Oh. I'm trying to see if it's actually ice cold. Is I wouldn't say it's ice cold, I would just say it's like, you know, avalanche cold. So pretty cold. <laughs> <laughs> pretty cold, but. Yeah, it's pretty cold. So let me think about what else we did. We did the rear seal on the rear end. We've done, oh man, so many different things to get this thing just completely roadworthy. We've done shocks, brakes, um, plugs. All right guys, we're down here at the Poudre River. We're gonna go back to the truck. We just caught two rain, or we caught a rainbow and a brown trout. Got those guys right here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna set up the camper and we're going to uh, grill those guys up. This is where we caught them up at the river right here. It's been great fishing. There's this fly fisherman here and he hasn't caught in a single fish. We went to the exact same spot he was in and we're reeling him in like crazy. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. So, we're gonna head back up to the truck now and get it set up. Show you what the setup looks like, guys. Done. You guys cool? Yeah. Should we turn the music off? I have Tourette's. Just be cool just this once! Should I turn the music off? It, uh, yeah, you can, I guess. Okay, so this is the camper, guys. And I wanted to show you the awning. It's a 270 degree, 150 square foot awning that wraps around the back of the truck like this. I have fish. We also caught some fish. I have the portable grill in the back here that we're gonna set up. Elijah is looking at his elbow right now. I got a football. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, here's all the camping goods. We're gonna go ahead and start getting grilling. I'm recording. <laughs> so, I had it on time lapse, that's why I got a remake. Anyways, we're getting bit by a bunch of horse flies up here. <laughs> but it's, I mean, this is like a sweet setup and all, and everyone's having a good time except for all the fly bites. Jay, let's see your foot, man. Let me see your foot. I got like one here. Like oh my here, God, Jay. Here. That's horrible. Yeah, so we're gonna leave pretty soon here just from these flies. Well, that was an interesting day with the... There's a lot of horse flies up here. Oh my god, man, they're horrible. Hold on, let's see what... What's up? What's up, Rob? What's up? What's up you? What's you at? What's you at? You got some great <laughs> My wind roller fell off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that was the uh, 1977 Chevy Camper. Really hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want more of this content, we're releasing stuff every single week. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell. We'll see you next time back here at the garage.